Hey y'all, we're now watching Shogun, episode 10, the final episode of maybe the season, since we heard there might be a season 2 or season 3 that they're thinking about doing. Anyways, so in the last episode we saw Mariko, who is the, basically, honestly, the, the, the most forward character of the show, like the most important one. So interesting. Yeah, her and Toronaga's relationship was very interesting, and she has now died. She's gotten what she's wished for, kind of. It's depressing. Yeah, that whole the whole season she's had death flags over her. And then there was two scenes where I thought she was going to die. And neither of them she died. And then it's like she had a new leash on life. She's like, okay, fine. I will really you know, go for it with Blackthorn, right? I've been giving a new leash on life. And then when the explosives were there at the doorway, she saw her chance. She didn't want to be captured. She had to die. She, she took thought, that chance. Yeah, because she also knew that Yabu was the traitor when he wasn't helping her. And then she was like, okay, fine, I will die here. And she even accepted it. And you could see her put her arms out, like like crosswise, just like her religion. And it was quite... Symbolic. Quite symbolic and quite sad. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the final episode here will be the consequences of what happens. Ashido is probably fucked. <laughs> I'm guessing that uh, uh, Lady Oshiba is not going to be happy with him. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to see how this game of chess will play out. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. And Toranaga probably strikes back. And Blackthorn's probably really sad. So. Oh, they didn't show her getting blasts. That's it. Oh, that makeup. Is that him? Yeah. That is him. The same actor. That's Mariko's uh, cross. Maybe that's Aww. what she's holding. Mm. The only thing he cared about in Japan. Yeah. Every day, Father, we commit to you, your loyal servant, Mariko. Oh, you know what? If you're captured, not killed. That's the title that she asked him <laughs> to, to call her mm -hmm. in the very first episode. Yep. Or second episode. Actually, second episode, sorry. When they first met. The one thing I was wondering, because the translators already had names for England in, in Japanese. So how would the Japanese know what England is? Like, they have to mm -hmm. make a name for that, I guess. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to top it with the next... Parts, if they make season two, season three, because this is like the last. This is like one book. Mm. Oh, criticizing him. Oh, he's announcing it. Yes, they're totally united. <laughs> He's accusing Ashido without naming him. Mm. <laughs> Wow. There was some warning in her voice. Mm. Yeah, it's like, you better have this funeral. It sounds so hollow. He's very shaken. I'd like they remembered that little detail. That of course he had an explosion near him. He's gonna be a little deaf. Hmm. <laughs> Is he faking going mad? 
Is he actually going mad? <laughs> yeah, interesting. Oh. They did some great work in the city, recreating Osaka. Did keep it. Am I receiving this permission from Lord Kiyama? Where is Yabushige-sama? He is preparing the galley in Ozaka Bay. I have come to bring you to him. Another ambush by bandits in the forest? Now been released hmm. from Ozaka. Praise be to God. At least that crisis is behind us. I find it cool that he is still briefing him about it. Then you don't mm. know. Yoshi Toranaga. <laughs> now he's that cynical. I spoke before. God, not your God. Oh my God. Your God. I think it would have pleased her to see us being civil. Yes. Yes. Protestant and Calvinist and Every other shittest. <laughs> shittest. It's only a shame. That day will never come. You were meant to die in these woods. But an arrangement was made. You will leave Osaka alive. Really interesting. He's like a complex character. He's not like, oh, the English are horrible. He really seems like a sincere guy. If a bit naive. Yeah. No, the priest, I mean. Mm hmm. Go with God, Anjin Sama. Oh, I give him a bow. Oh. It was Lady Maria. And now I have. I have kept my word to her. Mm. Oh, that was an amazing scene. I was just thinking about her flower line. As I did so. Yeah. Case in point. Kunija, go! Kunija, Nanda! England. So we want you to the dead Oh, he maybe wants to get out of this madness. <laughs> My ship's gone. He can't go home. Wow. You can still see the two cannons up there. They didn't remove. Oh. Man, who sank it? Oh, I forgot about him. Yep, Omi's back. Aha! Omi's been given permission by Toranaga. <laughs> I guess he's still keeping his swords. Jeez. Oh. Ah, he's they really are back where they he's started. He's literally back at where they started. Ironic, now he's like switched. Mm, yeah. Mm. Oh, he was ambition. Mm. He wants his fief. Oh, he has to go Ah. 
Let's see one more. Yeah, he's missing Mariko. How about Bantara? Where's he at? <laughs> Is that the poem or her saying yeah, just support him? Hmm. Man, there's so many conflicting emotions on him, right? Mariko dying. Yeah. But uh, he's. Oh, it's been a year. Mm. <laughs> She picked up some words. <laughs> it feels like the end. Definitely feels like a final episode. Yeah. surprised mm. <laughs> great actress man this this show's been filled with wonderful actors he's the new translator yeah <laughs> back to the beginning and he can trust them because he's a spy literally forgive me for the deception my lord ought to convert to the religion of the Portuguese. Religion, I like the way he says that. But at least you're not Catholic. Do not wish to fight you, relevant. My enemies didn't burn my ship. Mm. It was Marikozama. No Daga. Ah. My survival. For the destruction of my ship. Anjin Dono no Inochi o Tatsuke. Okay, Tadaskuna. Kore, Ijo. Tiwa, Iranai. Nani Samo no Tsumorija. Kretsa. Onorega Shineva. Washiga Muhon in Sagashi o Yamerto de Momote or Nuka. Cares quite a bit for it, Jiro. That's the word that he was first given by the priest. I'll distract them. Rebuild your fleet. Rebuild your ship and make a fleet for me. <laughs> he destroyed it. <laughs> he 
奴は船を立て直しておるであろうその軍は派生に無理で燃え過ぎの軍がいつ攻めてきてもおかしくないここで交戦でございますのか You really want to know? 交戦はすでに終わっておる、huh? 結束しておる限り大阪に軍を送るなど持ってのほか一人送り込み軍勢にもできぬことをさせたのじゃ Great line. Um, <laughs> <笑>およつぎの軍を戦場に出さぬと誓う。刀すら抜く前に石堂に背を向ける。そしてようやくわしの夢見た時代が来る。気づきあげるは戦のない。あやつは私を笑わせおるし敵を<笑> たこうても望みはないゆえ。あんまさ、ウェン。勝てば。将軍の小さいも。将軍。それが殿の彼という本当のことを語ってくだされ。墓場まで持ち参りますゆえ。死人に先々の話をして何と He can still do those clink swipes. He died at the cliffs in the first episode. Ironically, he died there anyway. Wow. Well, I see in the beginning might not even be a, a future. This is a possible future. Because I was in England. Hmm. <laughs> Man, so many conflicting feelings. <laughs> Uh, it's beginning and ending with this the ship. Thank you too. Ah. Two men who loved Mariko. I was using the intro of some music for this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we finished the show. Wow. So Toronaga burned his ship to keep him in Japan.
Jeez. What a wild ending. It kind of almost neatly wraps up everything, so I wonder how they're going to do a season 2 and season 3, if they do that. Almost wraps it up. We still need almost. to see Tor Toronaka go after the, uh... Shogun. Yeah, becoming the Shogun, yeah. So we'll probably see lots of maneuvering, if they do a season 2 and season 3. Yeah. Oh, that was a very sad... Finale, yeah. Finale. Fuji and, uh... Blackthorn had a lot of moments together this episode. I really like that. I like that as well. I've and, always liked their yeah. dynamic. It was a friendship, not a you know romance. Yeah. Friendship united by loss and yes. grief. Uh, it's really cool that we see Blackthorn come to a point where he can communicate with them. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Toronaga was going to whip off some uh, ability to speak English. <laughs> This whole time. <laughs> this whole time I can speak English. I was trained by the father in secret. <laughs> Even Mariko Sama didn't know. <laughs> no, but that would make sense that he doesn't know. That's why he didn't even react to him yelling. He was like, okay, what are you yelling? <laughs> yeah. But the fisherman being a secret samurai was a surprise, but also made sense. Like, why would Tornaga hire a random fisherman to be the messenger? And he mentioned that he's a little vassal very early on. But I'm glad that he revealed that to Blackthorn because Blackthorn would be like, how, how does this random fisherman, why yeah. is he working with Toronaga, you know? Yeah, exactly. You wonder that. So he just told him straight up. Because what? Who's Blackthorn going to tell? <laughs> yeah, it's not like Blackthorn's going to go. Blackthorn tells Omi, Omi be like, he's the traitor? I searched this whole village for a traitor. I couldn't <laughs> find him. Ay, yeah, yay. So Omi will probably be in the next season if they do one. Jeez. They probably will. It's been green lighted. Mm. I I remember him dying, not Omi, Lord Yabu. Mm. I remember him dying in the book, at the end. But he says something different than Omi. He says something to Omi like never trust Toranaga, and Omi's like I know. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't need he doesn't need him to tell him that. <laughs> Omi's pretty smart. But here so. they gave them like an uncle nephew moment. Yeah, instead. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess to the audience they hadn't re revealed that Toranaga was also scheming. Like crazy. We already know he's a schemer. Yeah. But here it was crazy how much he was scheming. Like he reveals it all to Yabu, but not entirely. So. Yeah, exactly. I like that Yabu did it. Um, like the way he decided to accept his death. He's just like, fuck it. Let's go straight sense, for it. Because early on we see that he's actually a really brave person. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he was quite. He's conniving. a huge schemer himself, yeah. and conviving and an asshole, but he was very fun to watch. His actor made his role really, yeah, really enjoyable. So and the book is very unlikable, but here he's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I totally forgot that Toronaka did burn the ship in the book. When he said that, I was like, oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> it was so I obvious. Was surprised it was so point. fucking obvious. When you said, like, perhaps he was the one who ordered M Mariko's death, I was like, oh, damn it. That'd be a twist. No, I thought they were going to reveal that, but... They did it, so, okay. That would been a cool twist, though, if they said something like that. Yeah. It was me who did it. You know, she was like, no, no, it wasn't me. I'm really serious. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, who knows That'd maybe that happened in the second season, right? Why can't we get really pissed if he finds that out? Yeah, exactly. But I did like that they showed that he let her go. Because at the beginning of the episode, it implies that he kept her cross with him the whole time. But the fact that he tosses it into the water shows that anything is possible in the future. That's why they showed that scene. Anything is possible. Mm. In that dream sequence, he's back in England. But here, Toronaga's like, I'm just going to burn a ship so he doesn't go home. He's going to stay with me. Mm. So. So the future isn't set. The future isn't set, Sarah Connor. <laughs> 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 Judgment Day has an oh, outcome wrong story. Oh, man, the wonderful show. Yeah. Like, if they just ended it like this, it'd be great, too. Honestly. Kind of ambiguous, but great ending. It's so funny. There, there was hardly any, like, Action. Wars. Yeah, that's quite <laughs> cool. Battles. <laughs> but it was so gripping. The dialogue, every single line of dialogue is so important in this. Yeah. In fact, if you somehow don't watch for five minutes, like a distracting, and you watch back, you're like, what did I just miss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just miss, like, so change. much scheming and plotting and amazing dialogue. Yes. Oh, man. I really like the priest a lot. Yeah. He was wonderful. He was also um, saddened by Mariko's death. Yeah. I think a lot of shows would be cynical and just use them as punching bags. Like, oh, he's a priest. He's an you know, mm -hmm. idiot, religious guy. But here they really do show him that he's genuine. He really does believe. 
and he's not cynical yet, not like his the guy above him. Yeah. In charge, and he really did want to help Blackthorn. So. Yeah. Great, great job by his actor, whoever he was. Mm. But uh, I feel bad for his haircut. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time I see him with that haircut, I'm like, you poor man. <laughs> That's why they made him wear the hat. <laughs> That's so another laugh at it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, the season was absolutely dominated by Mariko's the character and the actress. She did a wonderful job Love dominating the whole show. the way she moved. And yeah, the way all the characters moved, all like the gliding characters around. Moved, gliding around. The way they walked. Oh. They did give us a little taste of the action in episode 9, the last episode, when the samurai just slaughtered those people immediately, so quickly, without us like being ready mm. for it. That was really cool. Very well done. Yes. I think if they keep the action like going, but not too much, right? Otherwise, it just becomes an action show. I like this amount of politics and dialogue yes. with the occasional action, just to keep things uh, spicy. Mm. Oh, man. Wonderful show. Yeah, that was a great show. So happy that there are still shows like this in 2024. Yes. Where we can see politics and and something that's not based in a English speaking country, I suppose. Yes. So cool I'm... to see like all the translations going on. And like I said, it's too bad they didn't take a step further and add Portuguese. <laughs> that would be too much. <laughs> the uh I think from what I read, the dialogue was first written in English, then translated into Japanese, then translated back into English, or something like that. I have to look into it. I see. Because I wonder if there's some dialogue that makes more sense in Japanese, and some dialogue that makes more sense the way it was written in English when it's translated to Japanese, and vice versa. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder how native Japanese speakers would view the whole dialogue. Because I've read that they used a kind of older Japanese for this show. Yeah. So it confuses some... Uh, Japanese viewers in this one. Right. I don't know, though. Anyways, yeah. Wonderful show, though. Absolutely wonderful. Great job to all the actors. The actors. The soundtrack for the show was amazing, too. Yeah. Really. Love that they used the intro. That's the ending there. The that, was, that was one. cool. Was so cool. Yeah. The, the callback. And the, uh... I mean, it's very... Like, the soundtrack's, like, slow and haunting, yes. in a way. But a lot of the times, they don't even have any soundtrack. It's just too actors dialoguing and talking with each other and it's so gripping yeah exactly i don't know what we're gonna watch after this it has to be as good <laughs> that's gonna be difficult man oh what a show yeah what a show well i guess we uh we covered it yep pretty much covered the covered shogun maybe it'll be season one maybe this is just the final episode who knows either way Great episode. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. The full reaction will be on our Patreon. Our next show, we haven't decided what to watch yet. But be sure to check it out on our Patreon for whatever we're going to watch in the future. And if you have any recommendations on shows especially similar to this and are good for not just reactions but good dialogue and all that, let us know in the comments below. We'd like to hear that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and have a good day.